Hi everyone, I'm Teresa the teacher. Welcome to Whitby Abbey. This magnificent building is Whitby Abbey. It's very old. As you can see, there's not much left. But what is left is awesome, isn't it? It's on top of a hill, a cliff, overlooking the sea. So you can see the sea over there. And <clears throat> that building with the flag is St. Mary's Church. Um, in the book Dracula by Bram Stoker, there is a bit where Dracula arrives by ship over there. The ship crashes. There is an accident because Dracula has killed everybody on board. So Dracula is the only person left standing. Let's say he's killed all the rest. And he turns into a black dog. He jumps onto the sands, onto the beach, onto the shore. Then he runs up 199 steps. Then he goes to the graveyard, the cemetery church with the flag. He hides in one of the graves. His first British victims. And as you can see, Dracula was very smart to pick such a beautiful place. The church is very beautiful. The graveyard is very, let's say, creepy, beautiful. And with such a view of Whidbey Abbey, such a lovely, mysterious building, I'm pretty sure Dracula must have been very happy with the spot he chose. Anyway, I'm going to show you a bit more of Whidbey Abbey. They also do Dracula tours, but I'm not here for a Dracula tour. I'm only here for one day. They're renovating something over there. Oh my god. Look how pretty it all is. Wow. The arches, the columns. So incredibly pretty. As you can see, the weather is very beautiful today. It's sunny. I've got a sunny day in England. So yeah, I'll go and explore some more. See you next time.